the name of the talk is Impact Growing as an Engineer, and it's kind of all about my, my story of growing at Spotify over the last four years, everything that I've learned there, developing this growth mindset of actually like nothing is impossible if you just know how to attack a problem, right? How to tackle it over time, how to plan the next steps. And if you know what kind of impact you need to have at a company to succeed, that's it. I mean, I've, I've had the privilege of working for a company that really takes this seriously, right? But so many other people don't. And I just want to give back to the community and offer that learning to other people who might not work for those kind of companies. I really hope that people are just, you know, uh, inspired to try. I think this like try and fail and it's okay to fail because you're gonna learn from it and then try again until you succeed. Worst thing that can happen is, you know, you try again in a couple of months. So like really just the, the get out of your comfort zone and, and own your development. That's what I want to, people to get out of it, yeah. I think the really interesting thing is that there are oftentimes the engineers who are really, really good at the tech stuff and then there are engineers who are really, really good at all of the core skills, like making sure that the team works well together, finding and uncovering blockers, you know, making sure that we think ahead. But if you want to be a well-rounded engineer, you need a little bit of both. So I think the people who are really technical sometimes forget that they need those core skills and the people who go into those core skills sometimes forget that they also need to keep developing the technical skills. Yeah, I don't call them soft skills usually. Uh, I, I like to call them core skills instead because they're so, so important, right? So like, why is coding a hard skill? Like, it just doesn't make sense to me, yeah. Oh, it's been amazing, to be honest with you. Uh, I think they've catered for pretty much all different kinds of audiences, right? Like we had more uh, beginner-friendly talks. We've had really advanced talks. We had talks that are just very, broad and then we had talks that go in, in detail in this one specific library or something, right? So I think like it's the breadth of different topics that's, that's really appealing. Uh, I'm super sad that I missed Teja's call, uh, to talk because it was at literally the same time as mine. <laughs> uh, that was the one that I really wanted to go to, but unfortunately I'll have to watch the recording later instead. It's nice, I haven't seen that much of it yet but it's so beautiful, just like it's so much water, all the cyclists, I'm, I'm really excited. I cycle a lot myself, so it's, it's nice to see a country that actually encourages that. <laughs> One thing I could give to engineers, um, it's your career, right? It's whatever you make of it, it, you have a relationship with a company that can end at any time if it's not useful for you anymore. So like really make that own your development that's what I would tell them. <laughs> I actually don't know what the ice cream type is. <laughs> it has three colors, so I'm happy about that. 